Welcome to Conversations in the Closet with your host, motivational speaker, fitness expert, and fashion guru, Teresa Romer. Welcome to Conversations in the Closet. Today we have an amazing guest today. She's a blogger. Her name is Tasvia. Thank you for having Hawk. me. <laughs> You I got, got that, that right, right. Yes. so many times I mess people's names up. I'm so embarrassed sometimes, but oh God, today right. it's all about blogging, how you got where you're at, what you're getting out of it, so on and so forth. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so I started my blog, which is uh, called Style and Latte. Um, it was just plainly, it was just for fun. I, you know, I love dressing up like right. when I would, I would go to work, you know. It was something I loved doing and, you know, my sister was the one, she was like, you know what? you should just start posting pictures on the internet, you know, like just Instagram, start right. small. And it, it something, one thing led to another and I just enjoyed every moment of it. And you know, like I, we had our website up like six months after. Um, so it's been a great experience and um, Houston's like a great place. It's really not as saturated yet uh, when it comes to fashion blogging. and. I just feel like everyone is here to support each other. So, so you blog just mainly about fashion? Mainly about fashion. Okay. And just I would um, love to talk about things that are beyond fashion too. Like right. Sometimes I'll think about, I'll talk about, you know, growing up I always had like a self-esteem issue, like, or like I'm petite, so how do I deal with things like that? We just talked um, about this on yeah. camera. <laughs> We did. I'm tall, she's little. Yeah, and I've always wanted to be tall. I always want to be little. Yeah, there you go. You don't, you don't, you're not happy with what you have. No, so. no. But um, just everyday things, like more introspective things to my website would talk about all those things because fashion is about like, it's more of a mental thing than mm -hmm. we think, you know. It's not always about, you know, following trends or like, it, it's about your own style. And right. I think it comes from within. Right. So, so I was just going to say, what got you into the fashion? Like, yeah. Were you into fashion when was, you were little? I was always into fashion. My my parents would always love to like, you know, dress us up and you know, like I have a twin brother and like growing up, we were always like those uh, twins with the matching sets. Oh yeah, twins and don't all. Hate that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, we hated that too. And then we grew up and you know, but my mom always would love all that. Mm -hmm. You know, she would dress, up, dress us up and she would take pictures and all that. So growing up, we were so used to it. And then like, just, I've always loved dressing up and I don't, like you know to show like a different face like fashion doesn't always have to be like you don't always have to look a certain way right. you can look however you look and it's always it's about like how you put yourself out there even if you have a bad day yeah you can have a bad day and look like hell but put it out there and yeah. like people are like oh that's me today yeah get yourself <laughs> together girl that's messy bun my pj is yeah that's me yeah my sunglasses they're the trick <laughs> sunglasses are the trick True, because yeah. there's days where I try to do a photo and I'm like, I'm not even wanting to put makeup yeah. on. So I'm like, I'll just put a pair of sunglasses oh on. Oh my gosh, so <laughs> true. And most of my pictures have sunglasses on. Like, yeah, there are days that and I get out of you. work and it I'm like, it saves you from putting makeup oh my gosh, on. Seriously, yes. I yeah. hate makeup. So I know. Like, it's like, why waste an hour out of my day when I can just put a pair of sunglasses on, get the photo? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, how has Instagram and Facebook and all this social media stuff helped you with your blogging? I would say Instagram has, like it, I get most of my traffic. Like mm -hmm. I am very, very, uh, I focus a lot on Instagram because um, majority of people, I, I would say about, I was reading somewhere like about 80% of people look to Instagram to like, um, for fashion advice or anything, like, mm -hmm. even if it's a recipe. So uh, Instagram is really, really an important platform to get yourself out there and also like engage with your followers. There's always um, back like when I started, I would only like post or um, I mean post just it would just be posts and right. like now there's so much as to like you have to post stories and you have to kind of interact with your mm -hmm. followers. If not, you're just not. They're not gonna feel you, and right. you're not a human. To right, them. right. Um, so Instagram for sure is like the most important, um, like in this day and age. For yeah, sure. I, I mean, like it's Instagram is way bigger than Facebook. Facebook yeah. yeah, like I mean, I'm on everything, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Instagram is definitely where it's at. Um, yeah. yeah, it's it's taken over. It seems like yes, big time for sure. So do you feel that like 
where did you feel that you were finally getting somewhere with Instagram? Like, did you get a certain amount of followers before you finally thought like, wow, this is like, yeah. So what was that I, magic number? I think the magic number was, honestly for me, reaching a thousand followers was like a big deal because um, I wanted to start fresh. It wasn't anything personal right. about my profile or like just reaching thousand followers because there were a thousand genuine followers mm -hmm. um, and I was getting a lot of like interaction. I would get comments every day. Um, and then a lot of direct messages, people really appreciate me. And I think that really helps because like when your followers are really telling you, hey, you know, great job. Right. Uh, and I think, yeah, a thousand for me was like the magic number, but I would say once you reach about like 5,000, 7,000 followers, that's when you start like picking up, like you're treated not just like as a regular person, mm -hmm. but like more of an influencer. Right. Um, and then you start getting like sponsorships and like, you so you felt right around the five or seven thousand mark you were getting the sponsorships and I the would say, endorsements. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. I still remember my first um, my first collaboration was uh, Daniel Wellington, and I was so excited. I wow. was like, Wow, this is like a dream come true. I mean, I still love their product, um, but it was just like so much. Like I remember, I was like <laughs> staring at that email. I'm like, Oh my gosh! You're like, Oh, they picked me. I know. I texted <laughs> all my friends. I texted my sister, my brother. I'm like, Oh my gosh. But yeah, and that feeling was just, I wouldn't trade it for it. So do you feel that the pictures are more important or do you think the engagement is more important? Like, you know, oh, I got so many likes or oh my, I got this many comments. I would say the comments um, yeah. because you can always like someone's picture and um, there are times that I would give someone like courtesy likes too. Uh, but you know, comments is like, you take that one minute of your time mm -hmm. to actually write something. Mm -hmm. um, and engagement is so important. You can have like a great picture out there, but if you are not like, if it's really not out there, if it's not having anyone like, if someone's not looking at it, they'll want else, like it's not gonna get to the bigger pool. It's like you want that picture to touch someone's life. Exactly, yeah. So. Yeah, and then they're and, gonna comment back. Yeah, but on the other hand, like, I would say picture quality is really important mm -hmm. too, uh, especially nowadays that, um, and I'm sure you've heard of that too, like how, you know, there are ways to kind of like buy followers, buy likes and all oh. that. Um, so you kind of just want to have like the good quality put out there because there are brands who are like experts in like knowing what's like good versus what's bad. Right. Um, and also it, you should treat it like your baby, you know, like yeah. just like anything if you you know, you just started, you're just launching a brand too, so you're like, you know, one of many. <laughs> one of many. <laughs> yeah, but those were amazing things out there. Like, Thank you. Yeah. But, um, you know, you treat them as your baby. Oh, you yeah. Know, like, and same with your pictures, they're your product, mm -hmm. so you need to it's you. put your name with And it. how much do you Photoshop? I use Lightroom. Um, I like to mess with the light because I don't, you know, I like to, we like to keep it like all like right. one edit. So yeah. it looks nice when you look at it from right. like a different angle. Mm -hmm. I don't like to Photoshop like just to make myself look skinnier or I do like to make myself look taller. But there, <laughs> there are tricks to it. Um, and I, you can I'll make go over that. Taller? Yeah, wow. you just, um, like it's, you, I give my sister all Can the credit and she takes all my pictures. I don't know. Without Maybe being like from up there. <laughs> but yeah, we always take our pictures from like down there. Um, you well, know, that's just a good my idea. Legs look Angle. like legs yeah. tall, yeah. and my waist is like you know just mm -hmm. everything's like elongated. Yeah. Um, but I don't want to like Photoshop and like make myself look what I'm not because right. I then like Then they meet to, you in person. Yeah, and then you don't want to look like that person. They like, don't. Oh, yeah. oh, oh wow, she's like. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she her you're shoes only are five, better. You're only four eleven. Yeah. I thought you were like five seven. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I get that all the time when someone meets me. They're like, oh, you're tinier person. I'm like, yeah, thank you. I'm like, really? So, um, I get that a lot. So. Yeah. Yeah. But not, a, not like Photoshop, like altering right. myself. Right. Where your anything. face ends That's up becoming great. plastic and I was like, you, you don't even yeah. like look like the same person. Anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So if there was a blogger that decided to start at this right off the gate, mm -hmm. what would your best advice be for them? Best advice would be to get to know other women like who are doing that because one thing I've noticed is we like to help each other because mm -hmm. what you have, someone else might not have that right. same content. So yep. you want to kind of just like give each other like support and advice. Um, definitely 
put a lot of time and effort into a, into your content because content at the end of the day is like the most important thing. Um, do, you, and then, do you post daily? I, I two post or daily. three times a day? No, just once. Once a day? But I do take a day off to kind of just like, you know, take that day to myself right. because otherwise you just overwhelm yourself. Um, uh, I try to post on my website once a week, um, but I'm trying to like pick up that pace so as to like right. have more content, obviously. But right. definitely content, uh, engage with other people, um, especially when you're new, new you want to like comment and like you know reach out to other people kind of make yourself more visible because you know right you don't want to be like just posting a picture and like expect it like it goes viral (laughs) it's not gonna happen (laughs) trust me try that (laughs) yeah (laughs) (laughs) that this is all great advice guys so i mean like if you're a beginner blogger like listen to her you know how long you been doing it now a year and a half yes which is actually a short amount of time Considering Instagram came out in 2011, I think. Yeah. I don't know, five, six years, something yeah. like that. Um, Seven so, years. and Instagram was kind of like hard for me. It was yeah. hard to get into. Like, I was a Facebooker. So yeah. all I did was Facebook. Facebook. I was like, Instagram, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> Why do I need this? You oh know, only did I come to realize that Instagram was way bigger than yeah. Facebook. Um, even though Facebook owns Instagram. Um, but yeah, so it, it becomes a full time job. Yeah. And you have to learn it to is. balance it and like you said, take a day off. Yeah. Like sometimes same. you just gotta be like, put it away. Yeah. I can't do anymore. Yeah, and same thing with like I used to when I started, I used to kind of like just pressure myself into going to all the events that I would get invited to. And you know what? Now I'm just like it's not like a pick and choose, but I kind of like You have to pick and choose. Yeah, you have to know not be selfish, but you wanna kind of just focus on yourself first you want to kind of just like hey if i'm super tired and i look tired like crap i don't you're want to go pic- out there. yeah you're gonna make your picture's gonna yeah. look like crap yeah, yeah. Or, and i'm probably not gonna be in a good mood too you know? right and it's gonna show up in the picture yeah. and like when you have a family whether you have a boyfriend husband brother sister yeah i mean like you have to have family time you have to have quality time oh, yeah you know, like with my kids and my grandkids are like, Grandma, can you put your phone down? You know, of course, yeah. so it, it's you've got to be able to balance everything out. But yet you're still trying to grow this business and grow this brand. It's it's, it's a balancing yeah. act. Yeah, it truly is. Yeah. And so, you would know more than anyone says. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Well, you're so busy. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. when it comes to your content on your pages and everything, um, you know, sometimes we'll see a certain amount of likes. Sometimes we'll see like 300 comments. Like, what was it that you actually posted that got so much, you know, so many comments? Was it the content or was it the picture or were you just interacting with them that much that day or, or what? I think I do get more comments when I'm interacting. Like, uh, you want to, when you post your picture, you want to kind of stick around uh, to answer back any questions they have, to go comment on your other people, like, you know, mm-hmm. similar people's profiles or pages. Um, and also, like, I like to add questions or something witty. Uh, because I always have like funny things to add and um, that's what a lot of my followers like because I have like a very weird sense of humor dry I sense of humor ah. <laughs> uh, I take great pride I guess <laughs> but you know like if you always follow up with a question you know there's something that for them to like latch on to or right. like um, unless it's like a beautiful dress or like a very artistic um, you know picture right uh, they have something to write, but usually if it's a question, definitely, you know, they have something to write about. Uh, so it kind of makes it more interactive. So I always like to add a question to my... That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. So that way they have something to... They feel like they need to add to it. Or, right, right. Yeah. So what do you feel like your top five bullet points are for someone to help grow their social media? Uh, From your say, standpoint. I would say definitely be very active, like comment on other people, like engage with them, even message them, um, you know, even reach out to your influ- to person who influences you, you know, like mm-hmm. um, definitely follow them, see what they're doing. Um, I, I really messed around with like the times I would upload. Um, right. I would realize like, say when I would post in the morning, I'd get more comments than when I would post at night. So I guess it's just human nature, but I kind of like messed with it a lot. Right. Um, 
figured out which time would work most like best for me right um so definitely the time you post is kind it's kind of sort of important so, so you're thinking morning is more important for you morning i would say because my audience um which is kind of like my next um my next bullet point is right figure out who your audience mm -hmm. is because for me it's usually it's someone um I think my top uh, followers are actually within the ages of 21 to 40. Um, so I know it's someone like who is a young adult or an adult mm -hmm. who pretty much is going to deal with the same things that I'm dealing with. Um, probably has a job, likes work where, um, you know, has like simple dilemmas and like, you know, probably gets your sense of humor or like the TV shows you're watching and things right, like that. Right. Um, so yeah, you want to relate to your audience and see what they like. Um, I like to do Instagram polls as well because that story polls is really cool because um, the other day I asked them, hey, what do you guys like? Do you like this picture or that picture? Um, and I got a ton <laughs> of like feedback. Um, Pretty much, I realized now that it's summertime, they like more of like dresses and like summery pictures. So right. I know what to kind of like. At the end of the day, you're catering to them, like it or not. Right. Um, you are. That's your audience. Yeah. So you mm -hmm. want to kind of like ask them every now and then, hey, you know, what do you guys actually like? Or mm -hmm. why are you guys not commenting? Or like, you know, they're more than happy to answer that question. Right. Uh, so definitely interact, ask them questions, and figure out like your time and your audience. Your audience they make or break your page. Truly, so, yeah. truly. Yeah. yeah. And it's interesting, you can come across some people's IG pages that they seem to have a lot of followers, mm -hmm. but there's hardly ever any comments. Yeah. You're so, like, hmm. You want to focus on that because what you put out there, you want someone to actually tell you, hey, I like it, instead of like someone just like. So it makes you wonder how they get the followers if the followers aren't even commenting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're just lazy followers, <laughs> and most followers. So like, okay, I'll follow her. I'll yeah. watch her every now and then. <laughs> yeah, if they're genuinely following you. They'll comment. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They'll comment. They have a genuine interest in you. For sure. Definitely. I know that you also have a regular nine to five mm -hmm. job. So how do you find time, or how do you balance the time that you have at work? Because I'm sure you can't be doing this at work. And then, you know, be able to do this too. Like, you know, this is another, this is the entrepreneurial side of you. This is a job. This is like, yeah, two jobs. Yeah. So how do you balance it? It's all about like a routine. You have to kind of like, I would say, I would be really honest. Like in the beginning, I was getting overwhelmed and, you know, like, I was like, oh, I can't do this. But um, a lot of it has to kind of like time things like organize your day accordingly. I'm a planner. I feel like I've turned into a planner over the last one year because um, I still have friends who are like spontaneously, hey, let's hang out tonight. I was like, oh, well, per my schedule, you know, <laughs> I can. I have like this much like window to do that, whatever. And, you know, my friends love me to that. You know, they understand right. now. Um, but, you know, like you have to plan. Otherwise, you can't like, you can't expect that, oh, I'm going to just get this picture in and all that, you know, because at the end of the day, you got to focus on quality too. Right. Um, and, you know, like, to create blog posts, it takes more time to, um, so content, you can't just like throw out content, you gotta be more creative, so, um, I like to take a Sunday, you know, and get all my pictures taken care of, with this weather, it's a little more challenging, but oh, winter yes. time, oh, you yeah. get more outfits in, I'm uh, like, oh, we gotta go outside, I know, it's horrible, <laughs> oh my gosh, let's not even talk about it, but I have those friends too, that were like, oh, let's do lunch today, have cocktails, I'm yeah. like, Nope. That's Busy working. <laughs> what are you working on? I'm like, oh, you wouldn't understand. They don't, yeah. <laughs> they you don't. You can't really no. pinpoint what you're working on. So mm -hmm. um, I would say, yes, plan out your outfits. Take a day that you're off, you know, just get it all done with. I like to shoot for like late, e like not evenings, but late afternoon or early morning. I get them all taken care right. of. And then like, I like to post throughout the day. Um, and Sundays are great because I take a lot of city pictures. Um, the, so the city is a little more like quieter, quieter, mm -hmm. yeah. Or even Saturdays, or like you know, downtown Houston isn't yeah. as busy as like say right. New York City. Right. Um, so you know, the the city has a lot to offer. You just have to like plan it. So do you take multiple outfits with you when you go downtown? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And my car is my best friend. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm short, so I really don't have to worry. Yeah, I was about, gonna like, say you're kind of short, yeah. so you can like change in the car. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah I have. I'm the, like I can't imagine trying to change my clothes <laughs> in a Bentley. Yeah. 
<laughs> and make sure you have extra tint in your car so no one's seeing you like change from outside but yeah like i'm short so i really don't have to worry about that part but my legs would be bored with the steering wheel i know <laughs> you'd be like yeah like, okay yep. you're all seeing something you don't want to see i know <laughs> but yeah i change in my car yeah um Sometimes I'll go to like a coffee shop, you know, like and change over there. Right. Uh, but mostly it's my car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, no one really like stops and like looks. I tried one time to change a shirt in a car and yeah. it was a joke. <laughs> so I was like, well, I can't imagine a dress or pants or anything else. I'd be like, uh, I need a limousine. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Long legs, yeah, it doesn't yeah. work. It doesn't work. Yeah, sure, people, I guess that's an advantage for yes. us. Yeah. Yeah. You're like tiny, you're like, hey. yeah. okay, Just, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, there you Whoa, go. When did you change clothes? <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah. And you do. I mean, keep in mind, you will get honked at once or twice, yeah. so that's fine. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think just have the confidence and like, you know, to plan it out. I feel like planning mm -hmm. is the best thing. Like today, I posted something on my Instagram. I was like, is it part of adulthood to be always running out of time? Which is true, because you don't have enough yeah, it's time. True. It is yeah. true. As a kid, time stood still. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is it ever gonna be my birthday? Yeah. yeah. Is it ever gonna be Christmas? And now <laughs> you're like, oh my God, I need like 10 more hours in the day today. I know, yeah. day's not enough. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully you've had fun with us today. We've had an interesting conversation with this blogger. Hopefully she gave you some amazing information and tips. You can always find her on her Instagram page. Style and Latte. Mm -hmm. And you can always find me at Teresa Romer, you know that. Find me all over Instagram, all over Snapchat, everywhere on social media, including YouTube. Make sure you catch those videos. So next time guys, bye bye. <laughs>